What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today on this video we're going to be talking about things that I think EA should bring over from other games they produce or develop over to pro clubs. Now, this is our stuff also that could be brought over to um, career mode, but again, my channel is mainly pro club, so I'll keep it on the pro club topic. Uh, and these are things that we have wanted in the past, but these are stuff that as well that EA has integrated into their own games that they have produced, such as uh, NBA Live, Madden, and Battlefield, even Battlefield. But this game, this one, this video, we're mainly going to focus on, on the NBA Live portion because the NBA Live demo is live and I have played it. And I have played NBA Live in the past and I have seen things consistently improve. And I would like to see some of these things over on FIFA. We're going to jump right into this video. But first, before we do that, um, I do appreciate all you guys' support. And make sure you guys check out the description for my Twitter. That's where I put my daily stuff. And also my Twitch, which I live stream. I'm going to be doing my schedule again. But I'm going to be live streaming most likely every single day and have a couple of days off. Also, guys, don't forget, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Let's try to get 50 likes on this video. That would be much appreciated. And let's go. Let's jump into this video. So right away, guys, right into this video. This is NBA Live 19 demo. So this is not even the final version. This is only the demo. But there is changes in this game that you guys will see. Now, if you don't play NBA games, um, again, don't look at this as, oh, you're kind of, this is different to FIFA and stuff type of way. Just look at what I'm trying to present to you. So kind of. Uh, be open-minded on this one. So, the first thing you guys can see, as I, as you guys can actually see under my 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 webcam, is actually tattoos. Tattoos is right there. That's obviously something that we should have had in the past in FIFA uh, Pro Clubs or customization option in Pro Club in 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 uh, in Pro Clubs or even in FIFA in general. Because there is players in real life, of course, that have tattoos, and I think this would be massively. Or pro clubs for customization open. This gives you more freedom to have a player that's more unique to you than having someone that you can just change the hairstyle, but it looks different to someone else, but you have the same face kind of thing. Um, but this tattoo right here is kind of uh, kind of looks very similar to Neymar's tattoo in the back of his neck. Uh, Justin Bieber, I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but Justin Bieber also has the same tattoo because of the Neymar controversy. Uh, he likes Neymar a lot, so he has that tattoo. Uh, Neymar, of course, has this tattoo, and they should be something that we should have in the game. Not that tattoo specifically. I would like that maybe, but these are tattoos that you can have in the game that I think um, EA should be brought and bringing over. Now, of course, the tattoos will be very different because of the game. Uh, this is NBA Live, NBA basketball, so soccer, uh, football, or soccer, however you want to call it. Um, is going to have something totally different compared to this because there is, of course, you're going to see basketball balls and this. You're going to see different, um, different like downtown Atlanta. You're not going to have that really in a, a football game. But tattoos is something that I think EA should integrate, integrate over to FIFA Pro Club, especially customization in general. I think that would be the main point. Now, other tattoos, of course, for your arm, you have different tattoos you can use. Again, keep in mind that the tattoos are. Um, Base for, for basketball, so of course they have a basketball thing, so that's something you're not going to see on FIFA, of course, but they should bring tattoos over um, to FIFA. It would make it give, it'll give you more customization option, and of course there is a lot of, like if you look at Icardi, if you guys don't know, I'll put a picture on the screen for you guys. Icardi has a lot of tattoos in his body, and I think that would be kind of, you know, you can have that, you could do that. Uh, Neymar has a lot of tattoos, Messi has tattoos, Ronaldo I don't think has a tattoo because he donates blood, he says it to, in his tweet, he doesn't like... He doesn't like tattoos because he wants his blood to be pure. I respect that, full respect. Um, but it should be able. You should. We should have more customization to our player. Tattoos are something EA should add. Something they already have in NBA Live. Something they should add to FIFA. I don't understand why they haven't, but they should add it into FIFA. Now, this is not something massively. Again, I'm coming with that with stuff that EA already has that I think they should bring over to FIFA. Um, not trying to do a whole idea of things they should do. The next thing I'm going to show you guys, guys. It's something that you guys uh, actually everyone wants. Um, it's it's hairstyles, hairstyles, customization, more customization. Again, there is more customization. Uh, we'll talk about that session in a second. But the hairstyle is is customization. Now keep in mind on this game there is female players, so you guys are gonna see female hairstyles. So keep that in mind when you guys are watching this video. Um, pro clubs, I, that's another thing. I don't understand why we don't have female players yet. Again, some people, it's my opinion. Um, that's something that a lot of games companies are doing. Um, and there is girls that play FIFA, uh, so why can't they not play with the girl? But we'll keep that in a topic for another day. But I think um, hairstyles is something highly, highly, um, uh, something in, in, in something that we want as a community. A more hairstyle, more options to be different, be unique. Everybody wants to be different. Everybody wants to be unique. Everybody wants to be themselves. Don't want to copy someone else. 
Um, but again, this is something they should bring into the game. There's more hairstyles. This game has so many hairstyles, and of course, because they have female hairstyles, um, it, 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 there's more, even more. But there is hairstyles in here. Now, of course, the hairstyles on this game doesn't look as realistic, but just an idea of these hairstyles, if you were to translate them into FIFA, into the um, the engine they have in FIFA, it will look pretty cool. A lot of like the, these these hairstyles like these on FIFA, you don't have no hairstyles. They kind of give you like cool cuts like these. I know a lot of football players, soccer players that have those type of cuts. I used to do them in high school when I was when I was young. I used to do these type of hair uh, type of dashes in my hair and stuff like that. Don't understand why we don't have these on FIFA, but hairstyle customization in general should be stuff that we should add into pro clubs or customization in general in FIFA. But pro clubs again, it would be something that would be massive. Like, look at this. What is that? Some crazy stuff going on there. As you guys can see, I'm rocking a tattoo with the new hairstyle that looks fresh. Um, it gives you just more customization. In general, EA, all we want is customization mainly in pro club. Like, think about it. All we hear at the community is, EA, we need customization. Station customization, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, customization of kids. Customization. Give you freedom to be different, to be unique. That's all we want. Be unique, be different. That's kind of like the new model, I guess. But... Everybody wants that. Everybody wants changes. Everybody wants to be different. Imagine someone wearing this haircut right here and then doing their faces like all the, the, all the faces that pro club players do. There's some really bad ones and then put this on that. Oh my goodness. That would be unique, all right? But there's so many hairstyles, so many hairstyles here that you could use. Um, gives you more option, of course, and just in general. Hairstyle is very important. That's why I keep talking about it. EA, anybody for EA, if you're watching this, please, please. Bring this stuff over. You already have it on your NBA Live game, so why not bring it over to FIFA? Just an idea of something that we could use. The next thing is something that was already in FIFA is Game Phase. Now, Game Phase has been in FIFA. It was in FIFA 16 and prior, and then they took it off. Um, I think that was because there was glitches where you couldn't see the other players' face, and the only way you could do that is to download your teammate face. But if you guys watch NBA 2, NBA 2K League, um, if you guys know who Kuda is, he plays on, he's the point guard, I think for New York uh, Knicks, and they just won the, the, the championship, the inauguration league champion, they're the inauguration league champion for 2K, um, and if you look at his gameplay from actually watching the tournaments, his player actually looked exactly like him in that gameplay as he does in real life, so why not bring that into the game of pro clubs, now again, this is something that's been in pro clubs, so they might have to work this a little bit, but I think that's something that should add into pro clubs, to give you guys again more customization, new hairstyle, have tattoos, have different hairstyles, uh, and now put game face into there or even more unique and have your own player now of course if it's something you could do from your phone anybody would be doing it and then they could use the FIFA companion 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 app whatever it's called to put this into the game because that's what NBA does what 2k does what NBA life does which is their own game so they should be putting that into the game now next thing that I want to talk about is something that is pretty cool uh, and you guys are gonna see in a second here and it's something that you guys wanted now, this is something that, of course, we want, um, and that is having a store to buy stuff. Now, on Pro Clubs, of course, we don't have uh, stuff that we could use for our player, like shirts, if we were to buy a shirt. There was no, like, park to play, like, footy um, or, or play, like, 2v3, 3v3, 4v4, 5v5 kind of thing. But if they were to integrate that, then they just should do a store where you can buy shirts. As you play, you earn um, points for the store, and you can buy it. You can even use the EA... Um, coins that people have there's people with like a million coins there's people with like eight thousand coins eight 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 thousand coins there's so many coins um um so people should be able to buy stuff the one thing though i want to focus on on here is um there's weekly players you can buy to put on your squad so there's people that talked about a little bit on 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 um on Twitter about we should be able to buy players uh, based on how we play but I think that will kind of make it more uh, ultimate team and it'll kind of look weird I, I want pro clubs to be unique and kind of be more realistic where you don't have to buy players but that's my own opinion the one thing that I want to talk about though is core gear so in in NBA life you if you and once you play you unlock different bags that you can buy and once you buy them you unlock stuff so let's say I wanted to get um, let's say I wanted to get wristbands, different wristbands for my for my player. So I could just go and legit buy a crate, and it will legit give me one of those to wear. This would be something that EA could integrate into pro clubs because it's something that it's different colors, um, and as you play it, you can customize your player more. Now, of course, this game, it's very different. It has more customization, and they should integrate this into the game. Let's say I wanted to get to have, I don't know, um, there is, there, there I haven't seen soccer player that, where a football player that wear leggings, 
but there is players that you do lo- do wear long longer um, uh, they look, wear pants and then they wear like a compression short under um, so they do have that wristbands knee bands and all that you don't have that much on on, on football but in terms of in general have a store that we can buy stuff from buy socks um, buy different stuff like that um, to kind of different styles of socks but I guess that's kind of more uh, because of pro clubs you you have a team but they could have it a team store where you could go and open a bag and have uh, socks for your whole team that this is the type of sock they wear maybe it's a yellow sock maybe it's a green sock maybe it's this and that but they give you more customization to edit your stuff buy kits that you could use customize your own kits give you the ability to customize your own kits it's just ideas this is stuff that EA already has in game of course I'm not explaining it as clear but Again, it's something that I think they could use um, in many ways. Maybe open these to get hairstyles. Maybe open these to get beard styles. Maybe open these to get tattoos, which they do have. They do have some of these that you can open to have tattoos and stuff like that. Um, so this, they could use this kind of system to give us something to use towards our player for customization purpose. The next thing, and actually, it's I think it's the last thing, is actually... Um, is gonna be customization, stadium customization. Again, this this video has been all about customization. Um, this is my 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 court. This is what my court looks like in NBA Live 19 demo. You have FIFA tricks on both sides. YouTube FIFA tricks, the Twitch FIFA tricks. Then I have my Brazil, the Brazil flag. Um, I didn't have a Cape Verdean flag, so there's no Cape Verdean flag in the game, so I wasn't able to do it. But Brazil flag and an American flag. But EA needs to allow us to do more customization to our uh, to our stadium, and I think. They already have it on NBA Live. Now, of course, it's very different because it's a court compared to a pitch, but they should bring it over to FIFA Pro Clubs. Now, these are just the things that I would like to see. There's, of course, a lot more things that I would like to see, especially for FIFA 20 is a big one for EA. They're going to have to really, really put their uh, heart into the game, especially customization is going to be something big. And I think, again, guys, um, customization for FIFA 20 would be massively. For FIFA 19, I'm not, I don't have that much hope of a lot of things changing. But FIFA 20, I think EA should really focus on the customization part of pro clubs in career mode or customization of FIFA while give players more the freedom of customizing their experience. That's what people want. That's what I would like. And this stadium creation right here pretty much sums up what I would like to see. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget guys to smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you give us a, uh, make sure you sub to the channel for more pro clubs related videos um and also guys don't forget my twitch is in the description i will be live streaming over on twitch my twitter is also in the description make sure you give me a follow um and also my daily stuff and everything else would be will be going on there so make sure you guys check that out um but yeah thank you guys all for watching if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to smash the like button let's try to get reach 50 likes that'll be much appreciated leave your comment in the comment section below and have a wonderful day peace yeah.